if there's a rogue necromancer here, they forgot to lock the door. The Hand of Glory's magic points inward to the northeast. Let's go look. Nice place for nefarious plans. fewer corpses here than there should be. Where are they? I suspect the necromancer in this place has already helped themselves to these crypts. Romantic evocation with an inversion in the higher seals. Our rogue necromancer has hidden something terrible behind this door. Can you open it? The door's seals are drawing on magic elsewhere in the manor, fueled by suffering. Let's put an end to that and get this door open. The hand of glory points to the northeast and southwest.
self-lighting candles. You see these back home, but the scent... That would be myrrh, a popular embalming resin. Figures. Good to know. Do you get many cases involving candles? You'd be surprised. Nice place. What made the family abandon it? No one knows why the Blackthorns abandoned their manor. Rumor hinted at a family tragedy. A perfect spot for our wayward necromancer to work unnoticed. Sacrifices, both spirit and human. Spirit bound here. Henry, ah! someone's been harvesting their terror. Their souls. How dare they? What are they? Th Come, I can sense another spirit trapped here in the mansion. Spirit has already weakened its seals. Halfway there. <laughs> There's something off about the texture of the fade here. That's never good. It's been deliberately thinned. The spirits press closer than they should. the victim. Someone's been stealing the life, the essence of people who knew they were facing death. 
The effects persist. But the door we saw earlier should be unsealed. Hope that necromancer we're after is behind it. All the seals have been extinguished. Excellent. Let's open that door. torn a path into the Fade. It's imperative we find and stop this necromancer from keeping the Fade open. This job gets better and better. The door's locked. It's the work of that rogue necromancer. They're already blocking our path. We must find a wisp to open it. Onwards, and the glory still points the way. Rage demon and undead. The mage we're hunting throws quite a party. Our rogue necromancer knows exactly where we are. Why have they gone to such lengths to drain power from spirits?
victims. I don't see the rogue necromancer yet. I suspect they're nearby. Let's inspect their handiwork. One expect from Navarra's most eminent meddler. Johanna Hesenkos. You've met? Oh, the professor and I have known each other for ages. But only one of us realized the Watchers are no place for a mage with ambition. She's just trying to needle you. Johanna always did make a sport of it. Resentful prattling from the one left behind. No. The stone life in Atlantum could permanently tear open the fade here. Correct. Only the foolhardy would shed blood near it in this state. So. Let the Watchers mourn your pathetic death in the Fade, Emric Volcaren. Those that are left after my return. No. What is she planning? Emric, we okay to fight? Yes. Johanna took the lantern away with her. Uh. Well fought, Nev. I'll try freeing it, but I fear the worst. <laughs> Nothing. The spirit, its essence, is gone. Johanna's trapped it in her lantern. Then let's find her. There's no way out. Figures. So what now? The Fade always provides a way forward. We only need to search for it. Then let's get looking. This wasn't here before. Oh, let me think. We're in a receptive eddy of the Fade, and since Johanna's spirit summoning has already focused its mana, do you recall the ritual we performed in the Grand Necropolis? Concentrate on that memory. You mean when we were lighting candles? Find some more, and we can use them to leave this place. That last candle. Excellent. Place them on the pedestals if you would.
drift upon the echoes of the vast. Let them form a new configuration. And with that. All right. Let's leave this place behind. We must find Johanna once we're out of here. This rift in the Fade will lie open until we deal with her. How did you get out so quickly? Where's Hesinkos' voice coming from? The Hand of Glory resonates. It's pointing to the main hall. Let's go. I can feel Johanna summoning hostile spirits. That portal into the Fade won't close until we defeat them. But we still can't attack Hesinkos herself while she's holding that lantern. The entire countryside would be torn apart in a maelstrom. It's not difficult for those who treat spirits better than tools to an end, Johanna. Sentimental drivel. You may have stopped my work here, but Navarra City will know its new ruler. Why? You're gonna lecture us to death now? I'll not explain myself to one of Volcaran's hangers-on. Though the Professor clearly avoided mentioning his old colleague in exile. We made every attempt to bring you to reason. I gave you every chance to join me instead of whining endlessly about your mortality. But I must thank you for returning something dear to me. Lovely to have my hand back. Changed it with the Venatori for some favors after entering this condition. Johanna, what have you done? What you never had the courage to. <laughs> Still sense anything wrong. We were successful. Johanna's magic no longer changed the spirits, and the fade is still. Great. Okay. But let's walk back at the lighthouse.
least we freed those spirits from their suffering. Shall we depart? Let's get back to the lighthouse. Gladly. Oh, the Song of the Chambers won't have anything on what your hunters. Perhaps the Waking Scrolls. No. Manfred, have you seen the Felmarch manuscripts? Remember how I said we should talk? Ah, indeed. Johanna Hesenkos was a watcher. She was banished for embracing the darker paths of our art. Forbidden magic, blood sacrifice, nothing is beyond her if it leads to power, recognition, or both. Sounded like you knew her before all that. We were friends, once. I guess it was a shock to see her back there then. An unexpected reunion. It wasn't always like this. She truly was brilliant, and we got on so well as students. We partnered on papers, rituals, research. Yet even then, Johanna considered the Watcher's oaths quaint. This isn't the first time we've crossed paths since she was exiled, but now I fear she's turned herself partly undead. She made herself half undead? On purpose? There are advantages to undeath you may not be familiar with. I'm good. You saw Johanna's Lantern of Unwilling Souls. A necromancer could create monstrous undead with that much stolen life. Ezenkos was yelling a lot about conquering Navara City. We must stop her, Rook. <laughs> Thank you, Manfred. Quite right. The Order's knowledge will see us through. Hezenkos had been stopped. For now. But she had big plans for Navara. City conquering, new ruler plans. <laughs> and while she had some regrets about long-lost friendships, she knew her greatest invention was going to bring down the house.